What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here, and in today's video I am bringing you 10 facts about Exodia the Forbidden One. And on this channel I do Yu-Gi-Oh character deck profiles, character deck duels, and fact videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. For those of you who have uh, been around my channel for a while now, you'll know that this kind of video is uh, something that I don't usually uh, tend to do. This is something new. I want to bring a bit of like variety to my channel, so uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you thought of the video. And don't forget, of course, if you enjoyed the video, to smash that like button and share this video with a friend that is into Yu-Gi-Oh! So with that being said, let's get in to the facts. In all international versions of this card, we can see that Spellbinding Circle appears behind the Exodia pieces there, whereas in the Japanese versions, there is a Pentagram Star instead of Spellbinding Circle. Obviously, with it being the European and American version, they like to kind of like dull things down a bit, so that's why we see that change. Due to the five cards only featuring the head and four limbs, the full body cannot be seen within those cards if you piece them all together. This monster actually appears in the artwork of Contract with Exodia, whereas the card appears in the artworks of Exchange and Damaging Hand. The Bandai version of this card is actually level 8, whereas the Konami version is level 3. This card is the first ever card released to permit an automatic win. It's also the only card whose effect text contains either the words victory or automatic. The phrase has since been changed along with other win condition cards to you win the duel instead of automatic victory. This card along with its limbs have kept the same status on the Forbidden and Limited lists longer than any other card in the game. They have all been limited since the lists were started. This card was actually one of the first five cards ever released to have a card effect in it. The other four were Armed Ninja, Man Eater Bug, Hain Hain, and Reaper of the Cards. Out of all the five, this is the only one that doesn't have a flip effect. This card also contains four counterparts. We have Exodia Necros, Exodius the Ultimate Forbidden Lord, the legendary Exodia Incarnate, and Exode, Master of the Guard, if I pronounced that right. The Master Collection Volume 1 release of this card had a typo that missed the R letter in your, which led to the text to need all five pieces to be in you hand. In the game Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses, this card had to be on the field in order to win rather than just in your hand. As well as this in the game Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generation, when this card's victory condition is achieved, the winning player will declare either Exodia Finale or Face the Unstoppable, rather than the classic. Exodia Obliterate! So thank you very much for watching. They were my 10 facts about Exodia the Forbidden One. I hope you enjoyed the video, and of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed it, it would really help me out if you'd smash the like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh! And of course, for people that have already subscribed to the channel, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video, if you'd like to see more facts videos, and what monster or character you'd like to see me do some facts about. That is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Take care.